Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the UCF Dynasty. As we are about three quarters the way of season number one, we are sitting here at 12 and 6. We have a good overall record our conference record we're kind of up and down trying to find some consistency with this team that's the biggest thing and really offense has really been the struggle so far most teams average three guys in double digits but here we only average two with antonio johnson and larry o'neill who was good in sim but when we control him he doesn't really score like that Marcunas is really good rebound the football, um, rebound the football, rebound the basketball, along with Marshall Allison, who are both averaging double digit rebounds. Mwangi started the season. He comes off the bench now, and I like him with his energy coming off of the bench. But I do want to start switching up this lineup if things don't change offensively. And you can just see, we do use our entire squad, really, our entire bench, and everybody kind of gets a shot to play. So we do kind of have a good sense of who can do what so far this season, and maybe we'll have to just recruit some guys. We need some shooters. We can't just rely on Antonio Johnson, but we do have some, you know, leaders in the conference. How about Jack McAbee, second in steals. Mark Kunis is uh, averaging 15 rebounds. He leads the conference in rebounding, and then Antonio Johnson is third or fourth in scoring, and then he is also going to be up there in three-point percentage with shooting 39% from the field. He's took 201 threes, which is by far the most in the conference. So before hopping into this matchup versus Winthrop, who is the top team in the conference, we do end up losing to Charleston Southern by one, 71 to 70. So we actually go into this game 12 and 7 overall, and now we face Winthrop, who is only a one loss conference team. I mean, they are very, very good. They have the three double digit scores like we obviously should have. And then they have a pretty good bench as well. So we're gonna have our work cut out today. Winthrop is a team that makes the NCAA tournament quite a bit as well in real life. So we will have to have our best foot forward as we are now officially 500 in conference at three and three. We'll see if we can get over the hump today versus the conference's top team. So here we go. We are on the road versus Winthrop. We lost earlier in the season to them in a sim situation. So let's see if we can bounce back today. We win the tip off and here is McAbee with the ball passing to the wing and open Antonio Johnson gets us going to start this game off with a triple. And there we go, UCF relying on Antonio Johnson to score. We really need to get that scoring from somewhere else this game as well. It just can't be Johnson all season long. But here's a pass to the left side. This one is a fadeaway shot. Good defense there by UCF for forcing that tough shot. And here's a jump shot inside the three-point line. That one was good by Jefferson, a foot inside the three-pointer. And now here we go on defense. Fadeaway shot, offensive board by Winthrop, and he puts it up and in, and Winthrop takes the early 4-3 to three lead. Now this UCF team really does work the ball inside it pretty well, but here's Johnson in a design play working around uh, the baseline, and that one will be good. 5-4 game for UCF. Here's a pass inside. Easy jump shot. That one's missed. Here we go the other way. Johnson pushing the ball up the court. He's really good in transition as well. He finds an open man. That's Larry O'Neal for the three. And he steps up and hits it. Finally, we hit something with O'Neal. I think it was the first game of the season when he had that game, uh, that big time three to take the lead. And he hasn't done anything since. But here's Winthrop answering right back. Eight to seven game. They get the and one, bringing it to a thin one. Here's a pa pass inside. Marcunas tries to get a hand in his face. And it's going to be good. Winthrop will take the early lead now. Back and forth from both teams. Here is Jay Henry off the bench now. He checks in. He hits one off the rim. And that one is an offensive board. And that's an and one. Mwangi on the boards. He comes off the bench with that energy. And that's one thing that I like. A little circus shot right there. He did start out this season starting at center. And now it looks like he's coming off the bench with that energy. He checks out, though, for Nash Kolchek. Mwangi is an option to put right back in the starting lineup, especially if Larry O'Neal doesn't come around. 
11 and 9 game now. Here is Johnson on the boards. He pushes it all the way up the court, looking to pass it inside, and that one is deflected. Bad possession right there from UCF. Winthrop now going the other way, and this one's blocked. Johnson is so good defensively. He does uh, lead our team in steals by far, but here is Jordan White off of the bench, and he throws up a crazy shot. But Jason Jefferson gets called for the foul. Jordan White goes to the free throw line at 50% from the line. That leads our team. That's just ridiculous as we do hit one of two. It's a 12-9 game here for UCF. Here is Darkuna setting the pick, and we get to the bucket with McAbee with the left hand. 14-9 game early on here for UCF. McAbee is our probably our second best shooter who plays quite a bit. We do have Milo Yarbrough, but... We've shown that he has been a liability defensively, but here in transition, Jordan White throws it down off of the deflection. Maybe a little bit of luck right there with that pass. 16-9 game. Here's Marcunas now working it inside. And now we're starting to get some rhythm here. Marcunas goes to the free throw line, 15.1 rebounds per game. I do want to work it into him. I want to get him his touches for sure because he is our biggest guy, and we can get some fouls on their big men. Forcing teams to go small. Here's a fadeaway shot. Winthrop answers right back. That's a tough shot with a hand in the face, 18 to 11. Jay Henry off the bench, handling the basketball, passing over to the right side, Mwangi. A little floater with some contact, and that one is good, 20 to 11 game. Winthrop scores another bucket here now, 20 to 13, playing some good defense. Here they go in transition with the layup, and that one's missed, but an offensive board put right back up and in by their leading scorer. That is Simpson, and now it is a five-point game. Here working it outside the paint, another jump shot. It's now down to a three-point game. UCF does go on these streaks where we're just cold, and that's where we look for that second score. But here is good defense by Winthrop. And they go the other way. Now down by three, making them looking to make it a tie ball game or a one-point possession. And they get another jump shot from Adams just outside the paint. He's three of five from the field. Here is Larry O'Neal just trying to get some rhythm with him. He misses that three. And now it is just a one-point game. Good defense knocked away, but the offensive player... Gets it back on the offensive rebound and gets it stripped away. Johnson the other way. Good defense. And he makes it a three-point game going coast to coast. Johnson leading our team in steals. You can just see right there. He's got those active hands. 22 to 19. Larry O'Neal getting to the bucket any way possible. Just trying to get him going. I just can't figure it out. The lefty has just gone cold and now it is a 22 to 19 game. Here's a rebound, though, off of a missed shot by Winthrop. Three-point lead here for UCF. A jump shot from the wing, and it's good. McAbee just runs to his spot and hits the jump shot. And now we're down to two minutes to go here in the first half. Here is Marcunas getting double teamed in the post. Back out to O'Neal. And you just see we are getting the shots up with Larry O'Neal. They just are not falling. A couple of them are wide open, too. Winthrop coming down, answering back with the layup there in the lane, and now there's under a minute to go. Getting double teamed outside the three-point line. A shot inside is missed by Winthrop. Here we go the other way, a long outlet pass to Cody Stanley off the bench, number four. We look to waste some clock here. Oh, good move, and Stanley all the way to the bucket with the dunk, two hands. Two hands for safety now inside of 20 seconds left. Here is a pass inside, and Mwangi will get called for the foul. We'll put Winthrop on the line. Dalton Gonzalez will shoot two. He will hit the first, and the second one will be good. One-point game here, 15 seconds to go. Winthrop has this full-court trap on. Here we go. Bands passing it over to the left side. He's going to find Jay Henry up court. And he's going to go up with it with the contact. Almost good. But Nash Cole check on the offensive boards. He will get a bucket here before half. And Winthrop will heave it from three quarters court. That one will be off. 28 to 25. A very good game so far versus the conference's number one team in Winthrop. They already pretty much had that number one seed locked up in the tournament. But we're fighting.
We are actually shooting 44% from the field. We do have seven turnovers, which are way too many, but I think we're getting up pretty good shots. We just have to make them. 44% isn't terrible, but it isn't great either. Mwangi now starting it out in the post. He starts out the second half starting, and he gets fouled. And he will go to the free throw line. John Simpson, their leading scorer, does get, does get called for the foul as Mwangi hits the first and the second free throw will be short off the left rim. And here comes Winthrop the other way. A long outlet pass all the way up the court. And they will stop and reset up. As here's a pass inside over O'Neal. And there it is. I mean, O'Neal just isn't that great on defense either. And I'm just thinking about moving him to the bench as here is a drive to the lane. We tried to send the double team, but a good move with the left-handed layup. And now it is a tie ball game at 29 apiece. Winthrop now sending some double teams off of the screen and roll. And that one is a nice pass to an open Antonio Johnson. Is now is a tie ball game once again at 31 apiece. Here's a pass to the corner. This one's deflected, but a fadeaway shot. And it's going to be good. Winthrop is hitting these tough shots right there. 33 of 31. And here we push the ball up the court. McAbee finding an open Johnson again and Johnson pulls the trigger that one is good 34 to 33 game a low scoring game so far here in this game but a nice you know good tempo to this game here's a pass to the corner Maccabee open shot and he hits it if he can hit more of those he will definitely be a help to Antonio Johnson now a 36 33 game but offensive board off of the missed shot Winthrop puts it up and in now a one point game Winthrop isn't going anywhere. Looking for the screen this time. Mac or Stanley all the way to the bucket. And Cody Stanley off the bench showing off his quickness and getting to the bucket. 35 to 38 now. UCF has the three-point lead. So here is Henry now trying to look for a shot. He has a big man on him just trying to get a move and get to the bucket, but he can't. And Henry misses that shot. Winthrop comes the other way. As here's a pass to the corner, the corner three, and they will nail it. It's now a tie ball game. Winthrop is just answering us right back with the shot, and here is Jordan White off the bench. A little floater at the bucket, but he can't get this one to go. And here comes Winthrop the other way in transition, working it to the right side. A tough floater, and that one will be good. Transition D by UCF. Both teams going back and forth. As now here's Henry in the post, putting up a shot in the post, and that one is rejected. And Winthrop comes the other way. 38 to 38 game. Tough shot in the lane. That one's missed. But an offensive board by Winthrop. It was a loose ball. You can't let, let the ball hit the ground like that. And Steve Hart goes to the free throw line, not even averaging a point per game. He already gets his point right there. And he misses the second. And now it is a one-point Winthrop lead. Six and a half to go. Here's a pass to the top, and that was deflected. Johnson in transition, so good. Another transition bucket by Antonio Johnson. He does absolutely dominate on defense, and now we send the double team, hopefully, hoping for another errant pass, but that one is good. Winthrop takes the lead right back, 41 to 40. Five minutes to go. Johnson just taking over by himself. Hitting the three off of the screen, and now it is a two-point lead for UCF. Another deflection by Johnson, but a good take off of the deflection is going to be an easy layup. Actually, maybe a tough layup on that one, 43-43. As here's Winthrop now passing to the inside. A pump fake gets a defender off of his feet, and Devon Bands gets called for the foul, putting Nick Sellers, their point guard, on the line. He's got five. He goes to the free throw line, hits the first of two 44 43 misses the, misses the second one and now here we go the other way here is johnson handling the ball passing to the corner henry had an open three but thought about it goes up with it strong and will draw the foul on martinez and now jay henry coming off the bench one of two is going to be missed 43-44 game. The second one is going to tie this one up at 44 apiece. Three and a half to go now. Winthrop driving a tough shot in the lane over Jay Henry. That's going to be off. Here is Darian Edwards off the bench. He carries it up. Passing to the corner and Maccabee 
cannot hit the three. You got to hit that. Wide open. And now here comes Winthrop the other way. Pass inside. Tough hook shot. It's good. Two-point game here for Winthrop. And now they have the lead. Now we're at 2 minutes 40 seconds. Here is McAbee with the pick. Driving in a wild shot off of the side of the backboard. No foul call on that one. As here they go the other way. Winthrop spinning. The point guard takes it all the way in. And that's going to be a foul on Darian Edwards. And now they have a chance to take a four-point lead here as they go to the line for two. The first free throw is good. And now they have the three-point lead here. The second one will be good as well. And now we're under two minutes to go. Here is UCF in transition now, working it up to Marshall Allison. Back out to Johnson. Johnson inside to Mwangi with the dunk. Good look by Antonio Johnson, finding his big man off of the bench. And now we have about a minute and a half to go. Here's a pass inside, though. Winthrop gets an easy one inside, and now... Here we go the other way, 46-40. McAbee to the corner, quick trigger by Johnson, and he hits it. 49-50, to 50. we're down by one with just about a minute to go. We need some good defense on this possession. Here's a pass inside, and Devon Bands gets called for the foul, putting their leading scorer, John Simpson, on the line. And the first of two is going to be off. So still a one-point game, and the second one is good. 49 to 51 game. Here is Winthrop with that full court trap here. Marcunas passing it up. But Mwangi steps back court. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be aware of where you are on the court. And now Winthrop has possession. 51 49. Here is Johnson with some active hands again. Another steal by Johnson in transition. Working it up. McAbee, he hits it. 52 to 51 after that shot. And now we have the one point lead with 40 seconds to go. Here is McAbee playing good on ball defense. Marcunas at the top on their center. They're trying to work it around the perimeter. Johnson on the ball. That's who you want guarding their best offensive player. Pass inside. This one's off and a rebound by Larry O'Neill. And they will start to foul with 23 seconds to go. And they eventually get it down to 17 seconds. They will put McAbee on the free throw line. He will have a one and one here. Let's see what he does. The first free throw, long off the left rim. And they will call a timeout here, 52 to 51, 16 seconds to go. We've been in this scenario before with Miami. Here's a quick three, and it's good. Winthrum hits it. And now it is a two-point game. Nine seconds to go. McAbee pushes it up the court. Johnson in the corner. He tries to look for his own shot. They send the double team. McAbee over to the corner. Larry O'Neal for the win. He cannot hit it. We tried to work for an open shot right there, and we did not possibly get the shot off. I think Larry O'Neal may have just released it, but it wasn't a good release and made it a tough shot, and we lose yet another heartbreaker. We are the heartbreak kids. I mean, how many games have we lost under 30 seconds? I mean, it has just been that type of season this year so far, and it sucks that that happened versus the number one team in the conference. They skate away with a number win. They lock up that number one seed in the conference tournament as well. And man, just so close, like it's just the little things like closing out games, getting that second scoring option when we go cold like that. Who is it going to be? I have no idea, but trying some things out here at the end of the season. We tried uh, putting Marshall Allison in there and he's been decent, uh, but, you know, it hasn't been like the game changer that we would want. But we'll have to just figure it out here as we round out the regular season next episode. We go up against Liberty next, and we end up blowing them out 81-59. to Marshall Allison and Marcunas both had 15 and 18 rebounds, respectively. Then we play UNC Asheville, and you could just see Marcunas had 20 rebounds at that point, and we end up losing by 10. So as soon as we get right, we fall right back down. And then we play, uh, I believe this is uh, GW Webb, George Webb. I'm not sure, uh, but we end up beating them by 20 
and we end up getting a good victory right there. So we're over 500 in the conference now, sitting here at five and four in conference play. But next episode, we will round it out, round out this regular season before hopping into the conference tournament. But I really want to just get some momentum going into the conference tournament. That's the main thing. And I think one change I am going to make is Larry O'Neal and Jay Henry. Those two are going to swap. I'm just going to have that here for the final, what, five, six games of the season. And hopefully that will give us a little spark. I need to try something else. Henry has one of the highest field goals on our team with 74. So we will see if that works. So that's going to do it here. Gardner Webb, that's who it is, not GW Webb. Gardner Webb, we will get through the regular season next episode we're sitting here at 14 and 9 and we will see how we end up going into the conference tournament i'm hoping to get out a little streak these last six games to hopefully snare that number two or number three seed so we will see how it ends hit subscribe hit that like button stay tuned let's get it let's go I like getting money, I got time to get it Target on me, so my car's a tenant Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bible in a dash and the stick is with it And I hit the 4-5 on the west side But I'm from the east side, that's how we slide That's how we ride, yeah, yeah, that's how we